Welcome to Focus Product Spotlight. This is Alessio Lario, Global Product Manager at Focus. We like to support our customers, and today I'd like to answer the following question. How do you connect the PSWH or PSWB inverter chargers to the Focus Link Cloud? Before we continue, um, feel free to like our videos and uh, subscribe to our channel for any new content. The Focus Link Cloud is a solution from Focus to present you all the data that you need at your fingertips from anywhere around the world. The AnyBridge IoT Gateway allows you to connect to the Focus Link Cloud. The Focus Link Cloud offers you many features, uh, such as views of your system in its current state, historical information, graphical interfaces of the various states, you get a power flow diagram as well. And all in all, this gives you all the information you need at your fingertips to be able to see what your system is doing and what your system has done in the past. This in turn gives you many benefits. These include uh, being able to diagnose your system if there's any issues, being able to optimize your system, for example, uh, optimizing your depth of discharge of your battery to optimize the battery cycles, and also prevent costs simply by being able to diagnose your system from afar with your installer, for example, avoiding costly visits to the site. Once you've screwed the external antenna onto the AnyBridge, connect it to a PSWH or PSWB inverter charger by using the included cable. Make sure that you use the RS-232 socket of the AnyBridge. Next, ensure that you have a working router with an internet connection at your site. This could be a fiber, a DSL, or a wireless mobile connection, it doesn't matter. All you need is a router which either has Wi-Fi or an ethernet connection. Decide which one you want to use, and then either plug the ethernet cable from your router into the ethernet socket of the AnyBridge, or use Wi-Fi to continue. To continue the setup, you will need the Focus Link mobile app, which you can download off the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. I'm going to pass this on to my colleague Mohammed, who will explain how to use that software to continue with the setup of the AnyBridge. Once the Focus Link app is launched, the first step is to tap on the refresh button on the bottom right side to initiate a scan. We can then choose the AnyBridge among the new devices found to proceed. This will take us to the home page of the AnyBridge where we can see the connectivity status. In this case, we can see that the AnyBridge is connected to any grid inverters and that there is no Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection, which is normal at this point. We will next click on the Setup button. This will take us to the Setup page. We will start by providing Wi-Fi credentials for Internet access. So we will type in the Wi-Fi SSID and the Wi-Fi password. This first step is not required if Ethernet is used. In fact, the app will automatically recognize when Ethernet is used and not provide this credentials section. We will also choose a name for our system and an email for our Focuslink Cloud account. Next, we will click on the Submit button to send this information to the AnyBridge gateway. The gateway will then use the Wi-Fi credentials to connect to the internet and send a Focuslink cloud invitation email to the user. When these steps are complete, we can click on Done to return to the connectivity page and exit the app. The last step is to check our email inbox to activate our account. Now that the AnyBridge has been provisioned and the setup has been completed, we should have received an invitation email from Focuslink Cloud. It is good practice to also check the spam folder for invitation emails. Let's go ahead and click on the email and then click on accept the invitation. This will take us to the welcome page where we enter our chosen password for the Focuslink Cloud account as well as a system name. Please note that the username will always be the user email provided during the setup of the AnyBridge. We will then click on sign up. And now our Focuslink Cloud account is all set. 
I will go ahead and sign out. We can now sign back in at any time by entering the email address and the chosen password. We hope you found this information valuable. If so, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future valuable content. If you have any sales or technical question, check our links below in the description of this video. For more videos and information, go to www.focus.com. Focus, making reliable energy access possible. Anywhere, anytime, any grid.